right. So like I said, we were we were and are going to step up the difficulty with this compound manometer that you see here, which is connecting once again two pipes with water flowing through them. Now this problem says water flows through a pair of pipes which has multiple tube manometers measuring the pressure difference between the two. Oil with a specific gravity of 0.88 is in the upper portion of an inverted U-tube manometer and mercury is in the bottom of both bins. The pressure difference between the two flowing pipes is most close to what? So here we have two pipes both carrying water and again if you can't imagine it we have that flow of water coming in and out of our screen and we just have that very complex compound monometer that's connecting the two uh, pipes with three U2 manometers. We got two typical and we have one inverted. All together, they're measuring the pressure difference between the two flowing fluids. As you can see, the color, the blue color represents the water and the gray represents the oil in the inverted portion of the U2 manometer. While the orange color represents the mercury that is being used in the, in the two other manometers. We are given various pieces of information about the working fluids along with a number of different measurements that will help us determine ultimately what the pressure difference is between the two pipes as we are asked for. Now again, to get started, let's hop back to page 104. We're gonna grab our general formula. We're gonna come back over to this particular problem with that general formula. And as you can see, it's right there below the solution title. It is not going to fit this uh, situation at all. But again, if we don't fully understand the foundational components of solving this, these types of problems, we're significantly handicapping ourselves as we walk into these exams because we're relying only on the formulas that they provide us Whereas an open-ended YouTube manometer, which is the, this is what this general formula is, is only one of many, many different uh, configurations you, we can actually see. So again, knowing the foundation of why and how these formulas are put together will prove much more beneficial come exam day rather than just memorizing that one scenario. Because believe me, the NCES isn't going to, again, stick to that cookie cutter, cookie cutter type of problem. So we got to step out of the box and in this problem we're stepping out of the box and believe me this is not going to be a type of problem you're going to see on the exam but i'm going to show you exactly how to create the formula and solve this type of problem because if you can solve this problem as complex as it is believe me anything that you see on the exam you're going to do with your eyes shut the general formula is set up once again using two working fluids whereas in our problem right now we have three working fluids strung over five separate regions. So we have water, which has a specific weight of 9810. We have mercury with a specific gravity of 13.6. We have oil with a specific gravity of 0.88. We again have mercury. And lastly, we have water. With these three different working fluids and five different regions, we will be making five adjustments to our pressure as we make our way from one pipe to the other. Now in our problem, we are asked to determine the pressure difference between the two pipes based on the information that we're given. So what we're going to do is start in the center point of our water pipe, working downward to the top of our mercury in the left limb of the first YouTube manometer then around the bin and up to the top of the mercury and our right limb of that first manometer, the left limb of the inverted tube manometer. We will go once again around the bend of the inverted manometer and to the top of the mercury in the right limb, sorry, the left limb of the second U-tube manometer. Once again, around the bend and to the top of the mercury. And finally, up to the center of our second water pipe. Dimensions are given for each elevation change that we are making. So let's go ahead and start formulating our equation. 
Starting at the center point of our water pipe and staying in line with the general formula we are given by the NCES, we know that our first point of information we want is the pressure at point 5. Again, knowing this pressure will allow us to determine the difference in the pressure between the two pipes. So we write it out as such. From point zero, we will be descending to point one at the top of the mercury. Our pressure height relationship tells us that with the negative elevation change, we will be increasing the pressure. Hence, we will be taking the specific weight of water and the height in which it descends and adding this value as shown. We will be working from this point around the bend and upwards to point two, which is at the top of the mercury in the right limb of the first manometer. Now we know the specific gravity, but we don't know the specific weight of mercury. So this is something we will have to determine knowing our specific weight relationships with specific gravity. Now, again, we're subtracting this second, uh, this second term because even though we are working because uh, even though we're working down to the left limb around the bend and up to the right limb, overall we are still ascending. We're still going up three centimeters. So we are subtracting it because as we raise in the pressure field, uh, pressure decreases. Next, we go from point two upwards around the bend and down to point three. Again, we know the specific gravity, but we don't know the specific weight. So it looks like once again, our past workings and fluid properties and the relationship of specific gravity and specific weight will be coming into play once again. We also know that the height here, and since we are descending, we will be adding this value in line with our knowledge of the pressure height relationship. Next, we will ascend from point three up to point four. So we add that, again, we minus that value in our pressure relationship, in our pressure, knowing our, what we know about pressure height relationship. And then finally, we ascend to 0.5 and we subtract that value, knowing the specific weight of water and the height. And there you have it. The final formula we will be using to determine the pressure difference between these two pipes. Again, I didn't use the reference to the points and put in the specific weights and the heights according to the fluids that we are working with just so we can um, be more in line with the working fluids. So let's define what we have been given in our problem and see if we have everything we need to straight up solve this right now. So we know the height of the first water, water column, H sub W1 is equal to 0.1 meter. Which is, which is given to us in centimeters. And it, again, it's important to recognize this and convert it right off the bat. Otherwise, we'll be running into a lot of problems down the line. And the NCS, once again, knows that this is a, is a weak point for us and knows that it's something that's easily overlooking. Um, so make sure that you focus on making sure all of your uh, conversions, all of your heights are in meters before you plug them in to your calculations. The height of the first mercury region is 0 0.03 meters. The height of our oil column is 0 0.04 meters. Our second mercury column is 0 0.05 meters. And finally, our second water column is 0 0.08 meters. So it looks like we have all the heights defined in our formula. We have none of the specific weights defined at least given to us in the problem statement. Remember, we are given the specific weight of water on page 103 of the NCS reference handbook, which is 9810 newtons per cubic meter. But we don't know all the, we don't know the specific weights of the mercury or the oil. Again, this is where our uh, knowledge of fluid properties is going to come into play. So we know that the specific gravity to specific weight relationship looks something similar to what I just posted there on the right side of your screen. 
Now to determine the specific gravity of a liquid, we need to have uh, knowledge either of the density or its specific weight. And in this case, we don't have either, but we do know the specific weight of water and the specific gravity of the working fluids. And with that information, we will be able to determine the third unknown of this formula, which is the specific weight of that particular fluid. Using this general formula and starting with the mercury, we can, we can rewrite the specific gravity and specific weight relationships to isolate the specific weight of mercury, as you see right there on your screen. Again, the specific weight of water is 98.10 and the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6. Multiplying those two values together, we're going to get 133,416. So that's one down, one to go. Let's go ahead and write out our relationship for oil, specific weight to specific gravity relationship. We've already isolated. We plug in our known values that we have, 98.10 for the specific weight of water, as well as our specific gravity of 0.88. And we're going to get a value of 8,633. So we now have everything we need to solve this problem. We just need to plug and play with all the values we have just defined. And doing just that, we get, taking our general formula that we already developed, we get what you're seeing there at the bottom of your screen. So we don't know P naught and we don't know P sub five, which is okay once again, because we're looking for the pressure difference between these two points. So by subtracting P sub five from P, uh, P naught, all we had to do was move P sub five over to the left side, plugging in these values into our calculator we get a pressure difference of 10,132 pascals or 10.1 kilopascals. And that's all there is to it. So no matter what type of manometer layout you are presented, this one was very complex. Simply deploying your knowledge of the pressure height difference will get you to the answer you're looking for. Again, it can be a simple two fluid open-ended, um, manometer, YouTube manometer, inverted manometer, whatever it may be, or it can be some crazy manometer looking like this. And it doesn't really matter. You're just working from point to point using your knowledge of pressure height relationship, adding and subtracting those values until you make your way up to the pipe that you're uh, from one pipe to the other pipe.